Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to show you a specific technique used in tapestry making, what we call in French battage. This technique is used to make color shades on a tapestry and I'd like to show you how to make it because in the last time on my last video I showed you what kind of color shades you can have using the blue and the green for example. What I'm going to do is to make two different videos because the explanations are not very easy to, to give. So on the first one I'm going to explain to you how to manage the colors on the yarns on the bobbin stick and on the second videos I'm going to show you the specific technique of battage. So let's see how to manage the color on the bobbin stick. As you can see on my own work there are two kinds of shadings, two examples. The first one is the orange one so you can see your part more reddish than the other one and here more yellowish than the other one. So the first thing I have to explain is how to manage the color on the bobbin stick. Those shadings have been made with two colors but you can have more colors and so the techniques is a bit more difficult. But I'm going to show you how to manage the colors for to make shadings with two colors. So here you can see the more reddish and here the more um, yellowish. So my here, my bobbin sticks are a bit different. You can see there are six thread, six, six yarns on my bobbin stick and here six yarns as well, very thin. And you can see here a, a yarn orange and the one here is yellow. And on the other bobbin stick, you have the yellow as well, but you have the red one, which is not on the other one. So if, when you use the technique to mix the color, you can see it's going to be like a very soft going through one color to another one. So this is the way to mix up the colors, is what we call in French the chine. That is to say you're going to manage different colors on the bobbin stick, but it is the color very close from one to the other one. You don't going, you're not going to have more contrast on the bobbin. This is the same technique here. You have about the green, so you have the colors here, green and the, the yellow one. The colors are more contrasting because you cannot find a yarn in common from the two bobbin sticks. That is to say the green which is here is not here appearing on the other bobbin stick unlike here because the orange is the same one on the other one, the other bobbin stick. So there are no colors in common here so that is to say you have a shading more contrasting. This is the way, this is the way to manage the color on the bobbin stick we call chine as well because the color are from the same family but not very distant from one to another. Another way to manage the colors on the bobbin stick is to make what we call in French the pique. The pique is different from the chine because the colors are more separated from one to another, the contrasts are more obvious. Here you can see the red, the blue, the green and the white one. So the whole bobbin stick is very contrasting. As you can see the difference between a pique and the chine. They are much more contrast on the pique than on the chine. For example here to make the shading you may think I only use two bobbin stick, a black one and a white one, but it's not at all the case. I used four bobbin sticks with the black one, black and white, black and white, and more white than black, and more, much more white than black, and completely white to make the shadings. So I had four steps here to pass from the black to the white. So this is the way you have to manage the bobbin stick if you want to make a shading, a soft shading. Otherwise you're gonna have something very obvious and it is not going to be very beautiful. Unless it is something on purpose you want to see on your tapestry. Okay. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you for the next video, the second part of the battage.